Pointe du Bois Generating Station first produced electricity in 1911, making it Manitoba Hydro's oldest hydroelectric plant. Pointe du Bois was originally built by the city of Winnipeg to counter the growing power, gas, and transit monopoly of the privately owned Winnipeg Electric Street Railway Company, which had built the Pinawa Generating Station. The site for Pointe du Bois was secured for development by City of Winnipeg Alderman John Wesley Coburn under his own name. When the City of Winnipeg's charter was finally changed to allow the development of its own power sources, Coburn turned the development rights to the site over to the city. Construction of Pointe du Bois Station began in 1909. Two years later, the first three horizontal shaft generating units went into service. Thirteen more generators were added between 1914 and 1926. The cost of the project was $3.25 million, which included the development of a small town site to house employees and their families. Prior to 1950, there was no road to Pointe du Bois. You had to get to the plant by train. The station also served as the access point for the railcar tram that used to take maintenance staff to Slave Falls. Today, a paved, all-weather road links Pointe du Bois with Lac du Bonny. Many of the electrical, civil, and mechanical works at Pointe du Bois are a century old. But ongoing maintenance and periodic upgrades through the years have ensured that Pointe du Bois will remain an important part of Manitoba Hydro's power system for many years to come.